Hi friends, Dr. Lisa here, physical therapist and osteoporosis and cancer rehab specialist. And today I've got a strong bones exercise class for you that's moderate spicy intensity. And we're gonna work on the, the brick house bones methods that we know help to protect our bones from fracture, make us stronger and more resilient. So we're working on strength, balance, posture and impact today. And you're going to need weights. So I am using a dumbbell for a shoulder press exercise. So pick a weight appropriate for that. That same dumbbell may be used for a balance exercise. I'm using a 10 pound kettlebell for my balance exercise. And then I'm going with some heavier kettlebells or dumbbells for a deadlift row maneuver. So that tells you what you need to get ready for class today. And we're doing three rounds of each exercise. And we're using a lot of impact and power moves today. So things that are really stimulating to our skeleton. Now, as always, please do the exercise at your own ability and don't start here if you haven't done these moves to help prepare yourself for this intensity of exercise. Anyone who's had a fracture related to their osteoporosis should absolutely work with an exercise professional prior to beginning an exercise program on their own. So be safe out there, folks, and do the right thing for your body. Start at the beginning and build up to this kind of program. And if you wanna just check it out and see, then look and see what we're doing as we get stronger. All right, so we'll get ready for our warm up. I just wanna thank everyone who has subscribed and is watching these videos. I'm meeting people from all over the world. And if you have a second, just drop in the comments for me where are you? Where in the world are you watching from so that we can all enjoy this incredible community we're building here at Brickhouse Bones? I thank you and appreciate you so much. All right, enough chatter. We will get started with our warm up here. And I'm celebrating my new shoes today. I don't know if you do this, but I love getting new tennis shoes. It's like when I was a kid and you think you can run faster and jump higher as soon as you get new shoes. I still feel that way. I love it. Okay, working with our reaching. Good. Let's keep those arms up and do a little bitty squat. Not too high. Try to maintain that heart lift as you do that. This is warming up those spinal muscles. Overhead squat. One of the more challenging things that I do in the gym. I never developed that range of motion in my upper back because it's not a move I did when I was younger. But I do work on this position. Good. Okay, hands up to the top of the shoulders, turn and reach, turn and reach, good. Great. These shoes are made by Topo, T-O-P-O. -O. I don't make any money from Topo, although if they wanna send me some, I'd be happy for that. Uh, they are a foot-shaped shoe, which is why I really like them. They give room for my foot to spread out which really important for helping prevent bunions and having better balance that our foot can spread when we're working out and on the ground. I have a pretty wide foot too. So T-O-P-O, -O, it's one of the foot shaped shoes that I like. The other brand is Ultra, A-L-T-R-A. -A. Again, I don't make any money from these guys. If they want to sponsor me, I would love it. But it's just a product that I use and appreciate and I like to share things that, um, that I think work well and are doing a good job. Good. Let's loosen up these hips. So we're loosening up all the joints that we're going to be using today. Kind of working our way down. Let's go the other way. Good. Now we're going to get at the shoulders. So with the hands out, one arm over the top, the other reaching behind the back, back out. So a lot of these warm-ups count as our posture exercises too as we're activating those spinal muscles excellent okay great let's work our hip hinge warm-up since we will be doing a deadlift today Good. Be sure to keep that heart light lifting up. 
Don't crank on the neck when you do these. Keep that chin tucked down just slightly. Good. Let's reach forward and squeeze and squeeze. Great. Great. So many of you have given me great feedback and I'm so appreciative of it. And I am promising to include a cool down in today's exercises. All right. So we're going to get started grabbing the dumbbells here. Dumbbells are going to get placed right on top of my shoulders. And we're doing, let me just demonstrate first, a small dip press. So this foot rotates, the hips turn, and the arm comes up by the ear. So you should feel that upper arm land close to your ear. Bring it back down, dip, rotate, and press. So I am looking at that wall now. So your eyes will be facing the wall either to your left or to your right. Okay, here we go. We're doing eight on each side. Dip, press. Good job, you guys. Rotating at the hip, rotating the pelvis. I think this is 14 <laughs> and 16. If you know me, you know I'm not very good at counting. Okay, so going on to our deadlift row. So picking up our heavier weights, moving into our feet just a tiny bit wider than hips. Weights stay close to the body for this, remember that. And we reach our hips back with a long spine, squeeze up, lower down, and stand. That counts as one, like we've got nine more. Two, three, Four, five, six, way to go, you guys. Seven, eight, nine, keep that belly button in there. Ten, excellent. Keeping the kettlebell going here, working on halos. So, Offset your feet just slightly as if you took a small step and one foot is forward, at least one foot length in front of the other. Be up nice and tall, bracing through your belly. We're gonna go halo around one ear to the other ear, back. Moving with a little bit of speed and intention. Three, going for 10, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Excellent. These are really functional for how we need to embrace our core. When we're doing normal things in life, moving weight, pushing and pulling things around our body. All right. Next up is single leg balance with a 10 pound kettlebell, passing it from hand to hand. So first I'm going to balance on one foot and then Reach across, pass it, reach across. So there's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Switch your feet, get your balance. Here we go. One, two, Three, appreciating that my foot can spread out in this move. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Excellent. All right, now we're going into a step to a jump. So it's going to look like this. Step, step, jump to a squat. Step, step, jump to a squat. Are you ready? So we're gonna go out, right, left, jump, squat. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, one more, 
eight. Just remember, we're doing three rounds of everything today. All right, last one here are power cleans. And if you've never done power cleans before, they're very much a power move off of the hip hinge. So you're going to hinge the hips back, weight in your hands, press the floor away, hips come forward, and the weight comes to the top of the shoulder. And we use that speed and momentum to do that. It's really driven by the legs, not the lift. When your legs are moving quickly, the weight comes up quickly. So let me just show you a couple and then we can get do them together. One, two, really push the floor away. And as you do that, you bring the weights up with you. We, go, we will go for 10 power cleans, 10 power cleans. Hips go back, here we go. One, two, three, four, brace through the belly. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Nice work, you guys. Get a drink if you need it. Actually, I'm gonna hold on to these because we're moving on to our rotational push press. <sighs> nice breath. Bringing the weights to the top of the shoulders again. Little bitty dip. I'm gonna start going the other direction just to mix it up. One, two, three, Eight, halfway. And last one. Good job. Moving on to our heavier kettlebells here. Dead lift row. Okay, set your position, brace through your belly, hips reach back, weight stays close to the body. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three more. Eight, nine, ten. I could feel my deadlift becoming more of a squat, so I made a little correction there at the end. It's always okay if you're tuned into your body, noticing, oh, am I moving the same way? No, it feels a little different. And make an adjustment uh, as you go. All right, going for other foot forward this time as if you took a small step and starting with the other ear. One, two, three, four, five. Definitely feel my core. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Loving it. Back to our balance exercise. Pick the other foot to start with this time. Get your balance set. This is my less balancey leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one more. Eight, good, switch your feet. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If you want to get fancy on the next round, we'll go around the back for that exercise to make it a little bit more challenging. All right, we're doing our step, step, jump to a squat, okay? Going for eight here. Step, step, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, how to get our legs working like a spring, in this case, absorbing force, but we're using power to get into that position. So, so, so many benefits to these different types of movement. Power cleans, if power right in the word, it's an excellent way to be able to generate more force. Here we go for 10. One, two, push the floor away. Three, four, five, six, seven, it's quick. Eight, nine, 10. Nice work, everybody. Okay, last opportunity for a drink before we do the final round. Feels so good. <clears throat> Hands up, top of your shoulders. Here we go. Let's smile as we finish this round together. And dip, press, press. Looking good. Two more on each side. Seven. Last two. Excellent. Way to go. Combination today, pushing, pulling, hinging, squatting, lifting. Really try to do a balanced program for you. <sighs> Hips go back. Pull it up. One. Two, three, five, six, four more, seven, eight, last one, good, keep one of those for your halos. This round will have the feet close together, touching, really tighten through your middle body. Last 10 of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Awesome sauce. You know, these are all the workouts that... I began to do when I found out I had osteoporosis, osteopenia in my hips. Based on my own research, these are the exact kind of workouts that I began to do. And it's so fun to get to share them with all of you. All right, so working on our balance. Now, you can still pass side to side, or you can go around the back one way and then the other way, which I find a little more challenging, just two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Excellent. Other foot. One leg in balance. Here we go. Bring it around. One, two. Smiling for the finish line. Three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. If no, no one has told you lately, you're awesome. You're awesome for even taking the time to do this for your health, for looking up this information, for being proactive. I'm so stinking proud of you. And you need to know you're unicorns in wanting to do this. It's so wonderful that there's so many people that want to exercise and get stronger. All right, step, step, jump squat. One. Two, three, four. How much height can you get? Five, six, seven, eight. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, last exercise before cool down. Going for our power cleans. Reach those hips back, snap them forward. One, two, push the floor away. Three, four, tight belly button. Five, six, keep the tempo up. Seven, eight, 
Nine, one more. Ten. Woo! <clears throat> that was just what I needed today. I hope that's what you needed also. <sighs> Big breath here. Let's take a reach up. <sighs> reach the arms down. Next time we do that, let's come up on our toes. One more. Awesome. Let's go wide stance, hip hinge, coming forward, feeling that stretch in the back body, keeping a straight spine and shift our weight, bending one knee, straightening the other. Good. Hug that knee into the chest. Good. If you have a wall or a chair, you set your hands on that chair. Stretch one heel back. Good. Stretch the other heel back. Good. Let's bring the feet closer together. Sweep those arms up, clasp the hands together, point the index fingers, be as long as you can. Tilt over to your right. Maintaining that length. Reach up. Tilt over to your other side. Beautiful. Sweep those arms down, clasp those hands behind your back, reach the knuckles for the floor, shoulders come away from the ears, lift the chin. Wonderful. Take one small step back. We'll sweep the arms up and then pull the elbows down into the back pocket with an open heart. Sweep the arms down and up. Big reach. Step the feet together. Other foot goes back. Small step. Let's reach the arms up. Pull those elbows back into a nice posture stretch. Sweep the arms down and up. And hold. Mm. Felt so good. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you next time.